The good morning bus is ready. How do you do? The good morning bus is ready. How do you do? The good morning bus is ready. The good morning bus is ready. The good morning bus is ready. How do you do? Good morning, boys and girls. Are you ready for class time this morning? Okay. Auntie Camille is ready for class time. All right. Good morning, boys and girls. How do you do to you? Good morning, boys and girls. How do you do to you? Good morning, boys and girls. How do you do to you? How do you do to you? Okay, boys and girls. It's time for me. It's time for you to tell me the weather where you live. What's the weather where you live, boys and girls? Okay. So where I am living today is a cloudy day. Today is a cloudy day where I am living, boys and girls. Do you see Mr. Cloud? Is this Mr. Cloud? Is this Mr. Cloud? Is this? You are right. This is Mr. Cloud. We're going to put up our arrow, arrow, arrow. So the skies is gray. The sky is gray. There is a day when the sky is gray and cloudy is the weather. C-L-O-U-D-Y, 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 and cloudy is the weather. So where I am living, today is a cloudy day. Thank you boys and girls for telling me what's the weather where you live. Now we're going over and we're going to say the days of the week to find out what day is today. Can you tell me what day is today, boys and girls? Come on and let's find out. The days of the week are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Say it along with me again, boys and girls. The days of the week are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yesterday was Tuesday, boys and girls. Tomorrow will be Thursday. Today is Wednesday. Great job. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. All day long. All day long, yesterday was Tuesday, tomorrow will be Thursday, all day long, all day long. So boys and girls, today is Wednesday, great job. Now we are going to paste our Wednesday to complete our sentence. Are we ready to read boys and girls? Today is Wednesday. One more time. Today is Wednesday. Great job. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about the shape of the week. We're going to be talking about the shape of the week. Boys and girls, do you remember what's the shape of the week? I'm going to give you a clue. The shape of the week has no sides. And it goes round and round and it is blue. Do you see the shape of the week? Great job! The circle is the shape of the week. Round and round and round and round. Round and round and round and round. Round and round and round and round. And this is called a shape circle. So... A circle goes round and round and has no sides. So, we are going to put our shape of the week right here. So, we have the shape of the week and its color is blue. Can you find some things that are blue in your house? The L-U-E spells blue. B L U E spells blue. I O oh, did you know B L U E spells blue? The sky is blue. 
The sky is blue. I oh did you know the sky is blue? Oh this flashlight is blue. This flashlight is blue. I oh did you know this flashlight is blue and this comb is blue. This comb is blue. I oh did you know this comb is blue. Oh I found something else that is blue. The sharpener is blue. The sharpener is blue. I oh did you know the sharpener is blue. So boys and girls we can find a lot of things in our homes and everywhere that has the color blue. Boys and girls do you remember the letter of the week? The letter of the week says mm. The letter of the week says mm. What letter makes that sound? Great job! The letter N. Capital N, common N. The N says N. Mm. The N says N. Mm. Every letter make a sound. The N says N. Mm. The N says N. Mm. The N says N. Mm. Every letter make a sound. The N says N. Mm. And we're going to place the letter of the week right here. Capital N and the common N. Alright, so we have a capital N and the common N. And the N says mm. Now boys and girls, right now we are going to be counting and we are going to be pasting some things as we count that begin with the letter N. Alright, are we ready? I'm going to show you the picture and you're going to call them. What is this boys and girls? A Nesberry. So we're going to paste our Nesberry right here. One. Necklace. Can you say that? Two. Nest. Three. Needle. Four. Nurse. Five. Nail. Six. And this little boy's name, Nigel. Seven. Nose. Not. And net. Great job. So we have pasted 10 things that begin with letter N. Let us count. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, boys and girls, do you see the number of the week on my counting board? Yes, you do. How do we write the number of the week? Great job. Start at the top. And go straight down. Start at the top and go straight down. Start at the top and go straight down. Start at the top and go straight down. That is the numeral one. Great job. So here we place the number of the week. The number of the week is the number one. The number of the week is the number one. The number of the week is the number one. It's one, 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 one. All right. Great job. Now it's time for us to go to our theme corner. And in our theme corner, we have been talking about 
our birthday. We have been talking about everybody being born in a special month. The year we become one year older. Now, today I have two of my little friends with me. Today I have a little baby doll. And we're going to use our doll to represent us when we were born as a baby. So when we were born as a baby, we were little. But every year as we grow, we become older, we grow bigger, and we grow stronger. Let me see you. Put up your hands, you're strong. All right, until you become a big girl or a boy. Now, I have my baby doll here and I've watched and now she has grown. So if we had a picture, we'll have a picture of a baby doll, a picture when you're a baby and you have a picture when you're old, when you're three years old. So look at it, boys and girls. One is big and one is little. One is big and one is little. Boys and girls, can you find some things in your house that are big and little? I, I'm having my, I, I have on my table, I have on my table a big shell and a little shell. Can you see them, boys and girls? Big and little. I also went outside and I found a big nesberry and a little nesberry. So as we grow, we become older. Now for our theme activity today, we are going to draw something that begins with the letter N inside my basket. Now boys and girls, we have counted so many things that begin with the letter N. I wonder what is it that you want to draw inside our basket. What do, what do you want to draw, boys and girls? Okay. Now, since I went outside and I got my nesberries, I am going to draw my nesberry inside my basket. So how many things are you going to draw? One thing. All right. So here I go with my nesberry. Do you see my nesberry, boys and girls? You see my nesberry? Great job. All right. Now you can color your nesberry. You can color whatever you have drawn inside of your basket. You can color it. One thing that begins with the letter, begin with the letter N. All right. Now for our practice writing, we'll be tracing, we'll be trying to write the letter N. Okay. The N says N. Mm. The N says N. Mm. Every letter make a sound. The N says N. Mm. The N says N. Mm. The N says N. Mm. Every letter make a sound. The N says N. Mm. Okay, so we'll be writing the letter N, one stick down, one stick across, slant way across, and then we go up. So one stick down, go back at the top, slant way down, and then we go up. That is the capital N. Then we go one stick down, then we go over and down for the common end. So the capital N can be written. The common N can be written. Are we ready, boys and girls? Are we ready? Yes, we are. Let us go. One stick down. Slant way across. Then we go up. That is the capital N. Then you go one stick down, over, and down. Let us go again. One stick down. Slant way down from the top. And then we go 
one step up as we practice we become better one step down over and down common end the end says hmm the end says hmm every letter make a sound the end says hmm and is for nest berry and is for nest berry hmm 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 and it's for my nest berry and it's for my nest berry mm, 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 mm. great job so every day as we practice we become better and better if you if at first you don't succeed you try and then you try again all right so let us review our board we're starting over here. The shape of the wheat is great job, a circle. And today is Wednesday. Today is what, boys and girls? Wednesday. The letter of the wheat is the letter N. And the N says, mm. the N says, Mm. The color of the wheat is the color blue. And the number of the wheat is the number one. Now we have pasted some things that begin, 10 things we have pasted that begins with the letter N. Let us say them. Nesberry, necklace, nest, needle, Nurse, Nail, Nigel, Nose, Nut, and Net. Great job. We have also spoken about big things and little things. Some things are big, some things are little. Now, I have drawn one Nesberry in my Basket. I have drawn a little nestberry in my boss basket. And this is how we practice to write the letter N. Okay, boys and girls. So, everybody has a birthday. And it is the special day that we were born and come into this world as a baby. As a baby. Girls. Big girls, little girls, it doesn't matter. Big girls, little girls, it doesn't matter. Big girls, little girls, it doesn't matter. We're born in a special month. We're born in a special month. All right, boys and girls, you want to try that again? Big girls, little girls. It doesn't matter, big girls, little girls. It doesn't matter, big girls or little girls. It doesn't matter, we're born in a special month. Okay, boys and girls, so whether you're big like mommy, or you're little, or you're big like daddy, or you're little like baby, we're all born in a special month. See you tomorrow. Bye.